Russell used to work in the newspaper industry as a journalist. He was a photo editor, so he's worked with the glamorous side of these celebrities and, and others for many years. So a lot of his art is based around showing the darker side of celebrity and showing them not quite as they want to be seen. It's very bright and it's a quite large size, so perfect for anyone needing to fill a good space. Really good value piece. The edition is 45. Lovely screen print, you get beautiful metallic in there, and the imagery is just fantastic. I mean, mug shots of famous celebrities is always going to be a winner. This is a whole series that Pure Evil has been doing over the last year and a bit, basically rehashing the idea of celebrity portrait with a good twist, sort of turning it into the partner's nightmare from the marriage. Uh, so this is Audrey Hepburn, it's part of two prints that were done, one in shocking pink, and this one is the grey version framed in a nice aluminium box frame. All edition of 100, uh, signed of course with Charlie's Vampire Bunny signature. The Pure Evil, arguably the most prolific street artist on the planet. Uh, he's had shows all over the world. And last year he was on The Apprentice and that just shot into another level. His popularity rose so much and he's just, he sells a lot of work now. Um, Charming's relatively new to the art world in the sense that he hasn't been going decades, but his rise over the last, well, few years at least, has been stratospheric. He's gone from one man show, put on by himself, selling for a couple of thousand pound paintings, to a huge exhibition in Los Angeles, I think it was March, April this year, selling for $150,000. Likened really only to Banksy in, in recent history. The piece is signed, an edition, stamped as well by the artist. It's a combination of digital and silkscreen. Uh, it creates quite a nice texture actually over the black, it's very, very velvety. Charming's very strong at the moment, not only primary market selling from source, but also in the secondary market as well. It commands good prices, and I think his work, especially at the moment, is, it will be, is a good investment.